All right, thanks to Tirza for that report. Now let's get to some of those runoff races, local runoff races as KTSM 9 News is your local election headquarters and we have team coverage across the ballot tonight for you. Our reporters standing by with full reports and we're going to begin first with the Democratic race for El Paso District Attorney. Right, and if you remember, all of this comes after a controversial few years in the DA's office and ending with the elected DA, Ivan Rosales, being removed from office. Now, right now, it is a tightly contested race between public defender James Montoya and retired judge Alma Trejo. KTSM 9 News reporter Skylar Soto joins us now from downtown El Paso with a look at that race. And Skylar begins our team coverage tonight with the projected winner of this Democratic runoff. Skylar. Monica, James Montoya has taken the lead in this runoff election for a Democratic candidate for district attorney. Now, since day one, Montoya has said the criminal justice system and the DA's office has always needed a change, um, and it's been through so much. He joins me now um, in just a bit, so we want to tell him congratulations and just kind of ask him what's next for him and what's next for his campaign, as he will now be in the November election against unopposed incumbent the current DA, Bill Hicks, and he'll join us in just a minute to ask him those questions. But kind of what we're seeing here, we're seeing a lot of people just here in support of James. Nancy Casas is here in the building as well in support of James. And James is joining us. James, can you tell us, Mr. Montoya, a little bit about what's next for you and for your campaign now that you're headed to November's election? Yeah, we've been working nonstop, really, since last fall. <laughs> Every weekend, we're out there talking to voters. Uh, and, and so probably going to take a little bit of a break uh, and then we're going to start going again because you know the district attorney what people don't understand or, or sometimes people don't think about is the elected representative for this community in the court system and that's the problem with having an appointed district attorney that the governor sent here is this is not someone who understands the how this community feels about criminal justice i think mr hicks priorities are are, are not aligned with how this community feels on certain issues and uh, that's why we're out there campaigning learning about about what it actually matters uh, to this community. All right, thank you so much, and again, congratulations. Thank you. All right, now Mr. Montoya will now, again, like I mentioned, head into the November election where he will run against the Republican candidate, which is Bill Hicks, the current DA, who is running unopposed. Live in East El Paso, I'm Skylar Soto. Back to you.